Okay, so we're coming to sit down into Fatter Ball Pose. So if it's too much to sit like this, you're more than welcome to just sit in a free seat. But otherwise, just staying like this, bringing the hands onto the knees. And just beginning to close the eyes here. And make sure the shoulders aren't scrunched up, pull the shoulders back. And just make sure that that spine is straight, maybe tilting the head back and forth to just find the natural position for the neck. And just beginning to connect to your breath here, yeah? taking a deep inhale through the nose. And as you exhale, just feeling the weight drop down onto the feet, feeling the weight into the mat. Taking another deep inhale through the nose. Exhale out through mouth. And just with the exhales, beginning to let go of any thoughts. Softening out through the body, so making sure that you're not clenching your jaw. And just bringing yourself into your area of stillness, your area of peace. And just remembering to always come back to the space. Not even in your yoga practice, but your normal day-to-day -day life. Remember that you have home within yourself. Now taking one last inhale through the nose. And exhale out through the mouth. Slowly beginning to bring the hands to heart center and pray. And just taking a slight bow towards the hands, beginning to honor yourself and your practice. Remembering to be kind to your body, kind to your mind. And just gently beginning to open the eyes, just keeping the gaze at the fingertips. Slowly lifting the gaze. Gently reaching back at the hands and then interlace, and just sending the chest forward, head goes back if that feels okay. You want to keep the palms together, pull the arms away from the back. And as you exhale, I want you to bring your forehead down onto the mat, coming into a variation of child's pose. Keep that interlace. Slowly lifting all the way up, releasing the hands back onto the knees. We're just going to move through cat and cow and seat to position. So as you inhale, you're going to slide the hands back, send chest forward, gaze goes up. Exhale to round through the back, bringing the hands forward, pushing through the shoulder blades. Inhale again, hands go back. Exhale to round, sending that chest forward. Inhale again, taking gaze up. Exhale to round. Last one, guys. Inhale, look up. And exhale to gently round. Just taking the hands in front of you into an interlace and just doing some wrist rolls here. So again, you can make it as fast or as slow as you'd like. Slowly changing direction. And then reaching back with the hands again into an interlace, keeping the palms together, chest goes forward, inhale to look up. Exhale, bringing the forehead down to the mat, back into your variation of child's pose, keeping those hands up. Slowly lifting all the way up. Just rolling onto your haunches, coming into a tabletop position and just tucking the toes slightly, lifting the knees to hover. You want the knees about five centimeters off from the mat. Let me just walk a little bit back here. And then straightening out through the legs, coming into your downward facing dog. So if your feet aren't flat, that's fine. Just come onto the heels, bend into the knees, send the chest towards the thighs. Otherwise, just straightening out through the legs, if your heels can only reach there. And slowly coming forward into your high plank. Exhale to push back, downward facing dog. Inhale again to come forward, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Inhale forward, high plank. Exhale to down dog, one more. Inhale, roll forward. And exhale, down dog, push back. Taking the right leg up towards the sky as you inhale. Gently stepping it on the outside of that right hand. So you're coming into a high lunge. Keep the hands in 
down dog position and just move back and forth here, feeling into the hips. Guys, if you want, you can add music. And coming to stillness, taking that leg back up, three-legged dog. And gently rounding through the back, bringing knee to meet nose. Exhale, straighten up through that leg. Inhale again, knee meets nose. Exhale to straighten. Last one, knee meets nose. And slowly stepping up in between the hands, gently rising up for your crescent lunge, both hands in line with the ears. And slowly bringing the hands onto the mat, taking that leg back, three-legged dog. Both feet to meet, down and facing dog. Slowly shifting forward into your high plank. And gently dropping down onto the right forearm, followed by the left, you're in a forearm plank. So just make sure you're pushing through the shoulder blades here, you're not collapsing down. So push up and just hold for a second. And gently releasing the hips down to the mat, releasing the hands, coming into sphinx pose, keeping the gaze forward. So you want to make sure that there's no tension in the lower back. And gently coming all the way down, taking that right hand in line with the right shoulder. You're bending into that left leg. Exhale to roll over. So you can either keep that left hand by the face or you can walk it forward or you can reach back to grab hold of the right hand. If you've got hold of the hand, slowly releasing, rolling back onto your belly. Now staying on the tops of the feet as you slowly lift up into your arrow plank. So the tops of the feet are still down. And then gently lifting up the hips, coming into downward facing dog on the tops of the feet. Try and hold it here for as long as you can and only when it begins to hurt you, unflip the toes coming in downward facing dog. Taking that left leg up towards the sky. And stepping it on the outside of the left hand, keep the hands as they are, you're moving back and forth into that hip flexor. Coming to stillness, taking that leg back, three-legged dog. Bending into that knee, bring your knee to meet nose, exhale. Slowly taking it back, three-legged dog. Inhale again, knee meets nose. Exhale to take it up. Last one, knee meets nose. And exhale, three-legged dog. Slowly stepping that left foot in between the hands, rising back up into your crescent lunge. Inhale. Bringing the hands onto the mat, taking that left leg back up, three-legged dog. Slowly stepping the foot down, downward facing dog. Coming forward again, high plank. Lowering that left forearm now, followed by the right, back into your forearm plank. And slowly dropping down, coming in, sphinx pose. Again, gaze goes forward, no compression in that lower spine. And then coming all the way down to the mat, you're taking that left hand in line with the shoulder, bending into that right leg, slowly twisting over. Again, either that right hand is here on the mat, or it's forward, or you're reaching it back to grab hold of the left hand. Slowly releasing, coming back onto your stomach. Keeping the hands in line with the chest as you slowly push up to your cobra. Exhale, come down. Inhale again to lift up cobra. Exhale, down. Last one, inhale, cobra. And again, staying on the tops of the feet as you lift up, down and facing down. Once again, when it hurts, you unflip. And just making sure that in your down dogs that your inhales and your exhales 
of staying deep. On your next inhale, taking that right leg up towards the sky. Gently stepping it in between the hands, back into your crescent lunge, hands go up. And then taking the left arm in front of you, crossing the right arm over, you're coming into eagle arms. So you don't want the, shot, the elbows close towards the chest, pull them away. So you're opening up into that right shoulder blade. And I'm just staying here, watching the gaze of the fingers, you're gently dropping back into a mini back bend. Slowly coming up, keeping the hands as they are. You're kicking that left leg up, warrior three. And then taking that left knee behind the right, coming into Shiva squats. And then gently coming to sit all the way down. So if you look at my legs, you want the right knee on top of the left, still keep the eagle arms. Now as you exhale, just gently taking a forward fold to take the elbows past the knee, drop the head down. Slowly coming all the way up, gently unwrapping the hands, unwrapping the legs. Now you want to bring the right foot on top of the left knee. So you're coming into double pigeon. So maybe that top knee is lifting here, that's fine. You're just going to push that knee down. If your knee is down and you're comfortable here, walk the hands forward, take a forward fold. And slowly coming all the way up, gently pushing back into your downward facing dog. On your next inhale, taking left leg up. Exhale to step it in between the hands, back into your crescent lunge, hands go up. First find your balance here, once you're comfortable taking the right hand in front of you and then crossing the arms back into eagle arms. Once again, you're pulling the elbows away from the body, so opening up through that left shoulder blade. As you exhale, you're kicking up that right leg, coming into warrior three. And then gently taking Shiva squat to right knee behind left. And then coming to all, sit all the way down. So the left knee should be in front now. And then slowly taking a forward fold, taking the elbows past the knee, dropping forehead down. Inhale, bring you back up, unwrapping the arms and the legs, taking that left foot on top of that right knee. And again, maybe the knee's chilling up here and you're just pushing it down, or knees stacked on top. If you're comfortable here, take a forward fall, dropping head down. Inhale, brings you all the way up. Again, making your way into a downward facing dog. Option to move through a vinyasa here yeah, or just hold your dog. If you're moving through a vinyasa, you're coming forward, high plank. Going down through chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, taking that right leg up towards the sky. Gently stepping it in between the hands, back into crescent lunge, hands reach up. Bringing hands to heart center, you're going to take that left leg on top of the right knee. So gently first kick up into warrior three. And then crossing left foot on top of right knee, slowly low into your figure four. So you want to activate that left foot, just to protect the knee. Inhale to come up, knee towards the chest. Exhale, take it back, warrior three. Slowly stepping it behind you, crescent lunge, taking the hands overhead. And slowly turning up, warrior two. And then taking the left arm underneath the right to get back into your eagle arms. And now keeping the warrior two legs, exhale to take a forward bend in the midline.
Slowly lifting up. You're going skandasana over towards left side. So exhale. Inhale to come forward again. Warrior two legs. Exhale, skandasana back of the mat over left side. Gently coming forward again. Skand warrior two. Last one, skandasana back of the mat. And inhale, warrior two legs. Still keep that interlaced. Exhale to take a forward fold. Slowly releasing the hands, you're bringing the left hand on the inside of the right foot. Right hand reaches over, easy twist. And now gently turning, so you want to bring that right foot into the midline. Right hand stays up, so maybe this side plank is enough, otherwise you're lifting up that right leg. Coming into Vashistasana, maybe extending the leg out. Gently dropping down, coming back, forearm plank. Sorry, high plank. Exhale to push back, down dog. Option again to move through another vinyasa or you're holding your down facing dog. If it's getting too much, you just drop down into child's pose. Take your time here. On your next inhale, taking left leg up towards the sky. Exhale to step in between the hands again, rising up, crescent lunge. Bringing hands to heart center, and you're taking that right foot on top of the left knee. Now gently first picking up, warrior three. Slowly crossing over, sitting the hips down. Again, pushing into that right foot, so you're protecting the knee now. Inhale to lift up, knee in towards the chest. Exhale, take it back, warrior three. Slowly stepping behind you, crescent lunge, hands reach up. Dropping that back foot, warrior two, left side. So just check your alignment here. So you want the heel to be in line with the arch of the back foot. And then taking the right arm in front of you, left crosses over right now, eagle arms. Exhale to take a forward fold into the midline, drop the head down. Inhale to lift up. Keep warrior two legs as you sit back in the back of the mat, Skandasana. Inhale to come forward, warrior two legs. Exhale, drop back. Inhale again, forward. Last one, dropping back, Skandasana. Inhale forward, warrior two legs. Exhale to take forward fold over the midline. Slowly unraveling the hands, right hand stays onto the mat, left hand goes up, easy twist. And then again, you're turning onto the outside edge of that right foot, bringing the left foot into the midline. Maybe you stay here, or again, maybe you lift up, coming into Vashistasana. Slowly turning out, high plank. Again, either down dog, or moving through another vinyasa. If you're moving through a vinyasa, just take your time in your cobras. Taking right leg up towards the sky as you inhale. Exhale in between the hands, back into that crescent lunge, slowly lifting up. Whoa. Again, taking the left hand in front of you, right arm crosses over, following the lines of the fingers as you gently drop back into the back leg. Coming forward again, crest and lunge, keep the hands as they are. Slowly lifting up, warrior three. Dropping behind you into a crescent lunge, hands reach up, take another back bend. Unraveling the hands, bringing the left hand on the inside, right hand reaches up, easy twist. And 
and slowly bring in both hands on the inside of that foot, walking that foot over towards the right side. You're either staying on the hands here or maybe dropping down onto the forearms, coming into lizard. And just keeping that back foot lifting from the mat so it's not dropping down. Keep it up. Slowly coming onto the hands if you are on the forearms. Gently taking that right leg back up, three legged dog. Coming back, downward facing dog, option stay here, move through another vinyasa. When you're ready, inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, in between the hands, rising up, press and lunge. Taking that right arm in front of you, left arm crosses over now. And again, following the line of the hands as you gently drop back into a back bend. Slowly coming back up, kicking right leg up into warrior three. Gently dropping that foot behind you again, crescent lunge, mini back bend. Unraveling the hands, right hand comes down, left hand goes up, easy twist. And then both hands on the inside, taking that left foot over towards the left side. Once again, you're either staying here or you're dropping down onto the forearms, coming into lizard pose. Slowly coming back onto the hands, taking that left leg back up, three-legged dog. Both feet down, down and facing dog. Bring the big toes to touch and drop knees as wide as the mat, wide-legged child's pose. Bring forehead down. So taking deep inhales and exhales here, just feeling the body. Let the breath return down. <laughs> Let the breath go down to normal just a little bit. And slowly shifting forward, you're going to take the hands to grab opposite elbows. And then release the hands in front of you. So you can either keep the hands flat or you can interlace them, whatever feels more good. And then tucking the toes, lifting the knees, you're coming into dolphin pose. So if the feet can't reach the mat, that's fine. Just keep them hovering up there. And again, just trying to keep the inhales and the exhales of equal length. And now you want the head floating off the mat. So don't come into a full head stand. Keep the head floating. So push between the shoulder blades. And then slowly lifting up, downward facing dog. Taking that right leg up as you inhale. Exhale to step it in between the hands, rising back up into your crescent lunge. And now slowly turning into your goddess squat. So you want the toes facing out, heels facing in. Go crazy here, yeah? Okay, hands to heart center, bend into those knees. And now all you're going to do is turn onto the ball of that right foot. So you're going to turn, drop the knee, but don't let it drop on the mat. Come back, goddess squat. Left side, drop the knee, but don't let it touch the mat. Come back up, goddess squat. Over to right side again. Come up, goddess. And left side. And come back, goddess squat. Okay, taking hands up, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center, drop a little bit lower. Inhale again, hands go up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last one, inhale, hands go up. Exhale, hands to heart center, turning back into your crescent lunge, but keep that back leg bent now. So you want it to hover a little bit again. And then slowly straightening up through that left leg, maybe see if the hips have dropped a little bit closer towards the mat now. And slowly releasing that left knee down, taking hands overhead into your low lunge. Slowly 
Slowly reaching back with that right hand, walk it a little bit away from you, maybe grabbing the calf. Left hand goes up. Gently coming all the way up, both hands are up. Hands to heart centers, you tuck the back toes, lift the knee back into your crescent lunge. Slowly kicking that left leg up, warrior three. Oops. Both feet to me, coming into chair pose. Inhale, hands go up. Exhale to take a forward fold. Slowly stepping or jumping back to your high plank, moving through another vinyasa. Again, take your time in your cobras. And then we'll all meet back, downward facing dog. Take your left leg up towards the ceiling. Again, stepping it in between the hands, back into your crescent lunge, both hands are up. And now turning into your wide forward fold. <laughs> so both legs are straight. Interlace with the hands behind the back, taking chest forward. Exhale, bringing all, try to get the crown of your head to touch the mat if you can. Keep the palms together. And slowly releasing the hands, taking the two piece fingers around the big toes. Elbows go out to the side as you pull yourself a little bit closer towards the mat. Slowly bringing the hands onto the hips, gently lifting all the way up, bringing hands to heart center in prayer. Got some bonkers here, yeah? Taking Skandasana at the back of your mat, ninja lunge. So if you want, you can either hang out here or maybe reach behind with the right hand to take a bind. If you've got the bind, taking the gaze over the left shoulder. So try to stay strong here, try not to float forward and move or float back. If you've got hold of the band, slowly releasing hands to prayer, taking skandasana at the front of the mat. What you do on one side, you do on the other, so if you took a bind, you take a bind again. Gaze yeah, goes over right shoulder now. And slowly releasing, bringing the hands back towards the front of the mat, taking that left leg up, three-legged dog. Both feet to knee, down dog. Inhale to come forward, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. And just hold your chaturanga here. Slowly pushing up, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Taking right leg up towards the sky. Slowly stepping it in between the hands, back into your crescent lunge, right side. Gently dropping up, warrior two. I said that like a real four. Bringing the right hand onto the floor, left hand up. So you want to get the knee to meet the tricep. And maybe if you want, you can take a bind here again. So you're reaching under with the right hand, left hand swings over. Take the gaze up towards the ceiling. If you've got the bind, slowly releasing back, side angle. Gently lifting up, warrior two. Exhale to reverse. Inhale to come forward, warrior two. Exhale again to reverse. Last one to come forward, warrior two. Exhale, drop back, reverse. Slowly turning back up, easy twist, left hand onto the mat, right hand up. And then again, move 
moving that right foot into the midline, either coming to support the side angle, upside plank, or you're lifting up again, Vashi Stasana. If you're lifting up, slowly bending into that right leg, dropping it behind you, coming into wild thing. If you're in wild thing, slowly turning back into your high plank. Everybody lifting up, down and facing dark. Option again, vinyasa, or you staying down dog. Taking left leg up towards the sky. Exhale in between the hands, back into your crescent lunge, left side. And then gently dropping back up, warrior two. Bringing that left hand on the inside of the foot, left knee to meet left tricep. If you did a bind on the other side, you're binding here, so you're reaching under with that left hand, right hand swings over. If you're working on binds, you've got hold of a strap or a towel, you just work with that. Otherwise, just hold on to your towel. Okay, if you're binding, slowly releasing back, side angle. Inhale to come up, warrior two. Exhale to drop back, reverse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, reverse. Inhale again, warrior two. Exhale, drop back, reverse. Last one, come forward, warrior two. Bringing that right hand on the inside, left hand up, easy twist. Again, moving that left foot into the midline, you're either in a supported side plank or taking Vashistasana, lifting left leg up. Whoop. Slowly dropping that left foot behind you if it's lifting, coming into wild thing onto the other side. And gently turning back, everybody, high plank. Slowly lowering down through Chaturanga and all the way down to the mat. Keeping the hands in line with the chest, gently pushing up, cobra. Exhale, come down. Inhale again to lift up, cobra. Exhale, down. Last one to lift up to cobra. And tucking the toes, lifting the knee, down dog. Last flow here, taking right leg up towards the sky. Again, stepping it in between the hands, back into that crescent lunge. Both hands are up. And slowly taking the interlace of the hands behind the neck. You're moving the elbows away from one another, dropping the head back, mini back bend. Stink the hips a little bit down if that's available. Slowly coming forward, both hands onto the mat, taking that right leg back up, three-legged dog. Over to the other side, left leg goes up. Gently stepping it in between the hands, coming up into your crescent lunge. So I forgot to do something on the one side, so I'm just going to do it here. <laughs> Again, interlace the hands behind the neck, drop the head back. And slowly coming forward, bringing that right knee down towards the mat, hands reach up towards the sky, coming into your low lunge. And then slowly reaching back with that left hand to walk down that thigh, right hand reaches up. Slowly coming back up, low lunge. Both hands onto the mat, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, left leg goes up, three-legged dog. Exhale, down dog. So bringing the left foot into the midline now, you're going to cross the right leg over the left. So you're taking eagle legs here. So bend into that left knee. Then bringing the right hand into the midline, you're turning over towards the right side, left hand goes up. Coming to the other side, left hand down. 
My time goes up. Slowly coming back down, unraveling the legs, down the facing dog. Over to the other side, you're bringing the right foot in, crossing the left over right, eagle legs. And then bringing left hand into the midline first, right hand reaches over. Oh. Crazy leg. Over to the other side, right hand into the midline, left hand reaches up. And slowly coming back, down dog, unwrapping the legs. Moving through, one last vinyasa, so come forward, high plank. Exhale, try to run the hold here. Gently dropping down, inhale, cobra. Rolling over the toes, coming into child's pose, dropping forehead down. Now slowly lifting all the way up. So you're bringing the hips up as well. So you can see my hips aren't leaning forward, I mean backwards or like too far forward, you want to try to keep the hips in line with the knees. Okay, now if you have lower back problem, you're going to keep the hands on the back and you're just going to go to where it feels okay for you. Please don't overextend. Otherwise, bringing the hands onto the back first, sending the hips forward. We're, com we're coming into Cobra, gently dropping the head down. If this is okay, you can release the hands to the heels. If you can't reach the heels, you can more than welcome to tuck the toes. Just taking full inhales and exhales here. Slowly lifting all the way up, bringing the hips back onto the heels, walking the hands forward, child's pose. And then slowly lifting all the way up. Just coming to a seated position. Well done. Okay, you're gonna bring the right foot into the crease of the left hip. If this is too much, or if you can't get it there, or you find that you're really battling to get it there, just bring the sole of the feet into the inside of the thigh. Otherwise, right foot up. And again, maybe if you're working with the bind, you can reach around with the right hand to grab hold of the toes, and then take the left hand onto the toes and just gently mounting forward. Otherwise, just maybe hold here. You can hold your shirt or the strap. You can wrap a strap around your foot and pull the strap with the right hand. And just go to where you can. And slowly lifting yourself up. If you have the bind, releasing. Okay, everybody bring the foot up. So if your foot was on the inside, you're just going to bring it just above the knee, not on top of the knee directly, just above the knee. Otherwise, keeping your foot into that crease, you're bending into that left leg. Two piece fingers around the toe, and then you're just going to rock back onto the sit bones, maybe you're hanging out here, or maybe see if you can straighten the leg. Again, if you want, you can work with a strap to do this. Otherwise, just keep the knee bent so you can get that sensation of balancing on your sit bones. Okay, wherever you are, slowly releasing that left foot down towards the mat. If your foot was in the crease, you're just moving it up slightly. Keep the hands behind you and just push the chest towards the legs. So you're feeling that stretch on the inside of the inner right thigh. <laughs> Okay, and if you're not feeling it, just work here. Maybe push the chest a little bit closer. Maybe move the foot a little bit closer. Just listen to your body. Okay, slowly releasing, taking the feet as wide as the mat. Just windmilling the legs. Left side, right side. And then taking it over towards the other side. So you're extending that right leg now. Left foot goes into the crease. Or you're taking Janu A inside of the leg okay one side is always a little bit more flexible than the other so just be mindful of that 
Otherwise, foot in towards the crease. Again, if you're working on binds, reaching back with that left hand to maybe grab hold of the toes. Otherwise, you're holding the arm or the shirt right arm onto the right leg. Wherever you are, slowly releasing. Again, if your foot was only on the inside of the thigh, just bring it up onto your leg, just above the knee. Otherwise, keeping that left foot on the inside. Working that right foot in, two piece fingers around that right toe. Rock back onto the sit bones first before you feel comfortable with straightening the leg. And when you're there, straightening the leg, holding the foot with the hands. And just make sure the shoulders aren't crunching up, pull the shoulders away, send the chest forward. And wherever you are, slowly releasing right foot to the mat, work moving that left foot up a little bit higher. And again, just sending chest towards the thighs. Once again, you're feeling the stretch into the inner left thigh now. So if the knee's up here, maybe push the knee down if you're not feeling it. Again, as wide as the mat, dropping knees over towards right side, followed by left, just windmilling the legs here. And then we're just going to come into one inversion, so we'll just do shoulder stand. So what you want to do, if you're not comfortable with shoulder stand, you're just going to come into Supta Baddha Konasana, so just bring the soles and the feet to touch and come to lie down onto your back. Otherwise, if you're comfortable with shoulder stand, you're first coming to lie down. Take plow pose for about five breaths before you lift up. Can everybody see me? Yeah. Okay, so roll back, plow pose. And just make sure not to move your neck in this pose. And then bring the hands into the small of the back as you kick one leg up, followed by the next, coming into full shoulder stand. Keeping the gaze at the toes. And just taking full 10 breaths here. If you want, you're more than welcome to play, so you can take legs wide, you can bring them into Sutta Vadakonasana, maybe one leg back, one leg forward, or bicycling the legs, whatever feels good. If you want, you can also take a lotus pose here, for those of you that know. Okay, shoulder stand to slowly dropping the feet behind the head back into your plow pose, releasing the hands from the back onto the mat, taking five breaths here. And then slowly, slowly rolling up one vertebra at a time. And as the feet touch the mat, you're coming into your fish pose, keeping the four, four arms down, lifting the chest up. If you can't get the head on the mat, that's fine. Just, just open this in the back. But just try to get the head on the back, chest lifting away from the mat. And then slowly coming to lie down onto your back, bringing knees in towards the chest. And gently just moving from side to side on the spine. And then coming to stillness, grabbing the outside edges of the feet, coming into happy baby. So you want to bring the knees in towards the armpits, keeping the feet flat as if you're walking on the ceiling. And then again, if it's okay for the back, you can just gently rock from side to side. And then when you're ready, slowly releasing out, coming to Shavasana, your corpse pose. So you can take the feet as wide as the mat, either hands onto the belly or alongside you, closing the eyes. And just taking a full inhale here through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale again through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. 
noticing how your body is feeling. Noticing any sensations. And just bringing your awareness to your mind, beginning to notice how clear it may be. Taking again a full inhale through the nose. weight of the body onto the mat. Softening out through the face, through the shoulders, letting the feet flop out. Just coming to complete surrender now. to reach the hands over here, stretching through the bottoms of the feet and the hands. And as you exhale, bringing the knees in towards the chest, giving yourself a good squeeze. And keeping the eyes closed, gently just making your way up to a seated position in any way that feels more natural for you. And just bringing the hands to prayer. Taking one last inhale through the nose. Exhale, side out. I thank you, I honor you, and I respect you. Namaste. Thanks for practicing with me, guys.